time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's Ink the Book. Hello, welcome to my homegrown art show. I'm Ryan O'Connor. This is Ink the Book Show. So uh, today we're actually uh, inking inking a page. And this is going to be for um, I'm going to do a black and white chunk of my bonehead book that I'm working on. See, um, see if I can. Do a tiny little itsy bitsy release of that sometime soon. So I'm doing like um, an inside cover special for that. Um, and I think I got to do another page too, but we'll see. Um, there's a chance I might not even use them. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna flip the. It's been a while since I inked this way. It feels like so. Um, I think these streams are a little more successful on my part and just in general than the um, the coloring streams. I'm a little better at doing this and talking at the same time than I am at coloring and uh, talk talking. At well, at least I was. See if I can get back into the swing of things. So I'm pouring my ink. I'm going to need more than that for this page. Okay. So I've been doing a little painting today. That's for another project I'm working on. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you my little paintings. I did a bunch of paintings on these like heavy duty index cards. Um, just kind of abstract little, they're kind of background type things. Just took up my watercolors and did random little experiments. I think this is the first one I did. So I think I did 13 today. Nothing remarkable. Look, this one's got pencil scratching underneath. This one I crumpled up, and I did some pencil stuff on it, and then I threw watercolors on top of it. Okay. Oh, so I've been drawing all day. So for this first issue version of my my 250 page book um bonehead this is going to be the first and this is going to be the only time he appears in my um in the this little issue version i'm going to do so because he's not in the first chunk of the story the, the titular bonehead Um, so I wanted to put them on a little, like, inside cover page. Or I'm going to have some text. I should say, uh, since I haven't done a stream where I've used these tools in a while, I'm, um, I pour my ink into, a, like, a little beer bottle cap here. And, uh, the ink I'm using is... Speedball Super Black India Ink. This 32 ounce bottle I've used for most of the book now, and I haven't put a dent in this bottle. Um, usually, uh, this little beer bottle cap worth is more than enough for a page. I end up pouring a bit of it back into the bottle most times. 
Um, I'm working on Canson comic book art boards. They're 11 by 17 inches. And I'm using a uh, Windsor Newton Series 7 Sable Kalinsky size 3 brush. Brush is a little weak. A little flimsy on. I invited people in, like I always do. I'm hoping someone will come in and keep me company on the video. If it were up to me, somebody would be in here talking with me. Um, that is, uh, you know, one of my family members or one of my art friends would come on the show and chat with me. I feel like that would make a more exciting show, but ain't nobody, ain't nobody got the guts most of the time. There's Dominami. Another great stream and it's not digital art stuff today. Yeah. I kind of like doing this stuff more. And I was doing those paintings today, and I was thinking I was probably going to do some of those. I don't know if you saw the ones that I would just showed off. I did all these like little random, goofy background type painting things. Um, I was thinking I could probably do that on here today. I, I think I want to do more physical art ones because I, I don't. I don't think I. I get too, like, um, messed up. Like, my work slows down when I'm doing the digital stuff, when I'm doing the color stuff. Um, and I'm trying to, like, talk at the same time. So maybe I'll just do my sketchbook drawings or something to the streams. And that way I can do them in here. I can do them more frequently because right now I, I really have to be picky and choosy about when I stream if I'm going out there to work um, and stream at the same time. So far this is going kind of slow, but this brush is kind of fighting me. Might have to see if I've got another one here. It's just a little flimsy. I know I have other ones though. just saw a trailer my my roommate was showing me that there's a new um ninja turtles movie coming out i think everybody knows how into the ninja turtles i am um but uh i don't know this one's what directed created i don't know something but it's Different designs, it's kind of like the Into the Spider-Verse style. And it's slight, it's kind of different designs of the characters from uh, the current animated one on Nickelodeon. But it looks like it's kind of based on that series. 
I see Rocksteady and Bebop are in it. So that's a plus. And so, yeah, Seth Rogen's kind of... I think he's the director of this one. So what's with the music? Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. It's bugging me. Uh, bingo. Stark silence. Everyone's in trouble. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me see. Um, oops. Um, Look what I've been reading. I've been reading Fahrenheit 451, which I was trying to listen to an audiobook of uh, last year. And by the time I got to the part I'm at now, physically reading it, I gave up on listening to the audiobook because it, it, was, it wasn't keeping my attention like uh, the first part had been. I think I think I'm a little more this time. I'm into the part two somewhere. I didn't finish coloring old Bonehead's pants. Finish coloring his pants, Ryan. Finish inking his pants. Inking their their pants is what uh, potty training squids tend to do. Um. Well, my head's empty. What else is going on? Uh, oh, today went by really fast. Well, I finished that Always Sunny book I was reading. Seven... Uh, seven steps to awaken the four-hour giant today or something like that. It's like a self-help book written by the, the characters in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That was all right. <laughs> I got that for Christmas. Look, here's the other book I'm reading. Descartes, Key Philosoph Philosophical Writings, if I can read. Um... So that's cool. I don't know. I'm trying to make my brain big. <laughs> but it's not working so well. No, just kidding. 
Oh, criminy. This is too flimsy on me. I gotta. Um, I gotta get another brush. Let's see, I've got a little pouch here. Let's see. That's too big. That's too small. Size two, that'll do. Brand new, fresh off the boat. Fresh off the assembly line. Okay, let's give it a whirl. All right. Gulp. Gulp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As Luigi would say. There's a movie I'm excited about. Um, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Some people not as excited as me. I think that's going to be a great movie. Everyone wants to complain about the voice cast, which, uh, you know, sure. But um, I'm excited about that movie. I'll bet that's a fun one. I always do this to myself where I draw out all, excuse me, all the stars and stuff beforehand. And then I've got to religiously paint around them when I should just paint the whole dang sky black and add all the stars in with white afterwards. It would be so much smoother if I did that. Let's do this detailed stuff. Uh, somebody's texting me. I hope it's somebody telling me they're coming on to my show. Let's see. Oh, it's my mom sending poetry. Check this out. Seascape. I went down by the ocean. Didn't plan to stay too long. Just to think and be alone. To wonder what was wrong. As I sat upon the sandy dunes. I saw the footprints come and go. The waves came roaring at me while the tide did ebb and flow. The little boat all alone was left there just like me, waiting for someone to realize what good that boat could be. I took that little boat and paddled across that hungry sea I'm sorry, that angry sea. The energy was amazing. The view was love to me. I've read this before. I listened to the nighttime coos, wails of birds done for the day. I watched the sun go down, but like my God, it lit my way. So I headed for the shore with a light and airy heart. The happiness... Upon my return, stole the sadness of my depart. And I guess that's a, a poem to go with. Look at this. My mom just paintings, too. My mom painted this boat on a sandy beach. I don't think my 
phone on the screen is going to do it all that much justice, but yeah, that's what, that's one of my goals. I want to, here, I'm going to plug my phone back in. Ooh, ding dong, ding dong, right? I can make some kind of noise. It's going to open up a folder. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, one of my goals is I want to collect all my, because there's a bunch of poems to go with her paintings. I don't think all of her poems that she writes go with a painting, and I don't think all of her paintings go with a poem, but uh, she does a lot of poems to go with a lot of her paintings. Um, and I want to make a book someday to give all my siblings or all my nieces and nephews uh, a collection of all her paintings and all her poems. So I keep telling her I want to get I want to get all her paintings scanned. Because my mom, she's she's been doing paintings for years. But she doesn't really do anything with them, you know? And some of them are really beautiful. She taught herself how to paint uh, by, like, uh, about 20 years ago. She started watching uh, The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. My dad would record them for her. And she taught herself to, to paint by, like, she started buying his books and watching the joy of painting and uh she learned how to paint from that but she, so she does a bunch of like scenery paintings of like mountains and seashores and stuff like that and a lot of them are like t it tend to be like um based on photographs of the island she she grew up on um off of the mainland of Ireland. So my mom, my mom's a little Irish island lady. Here, I'm just gonna paint big, sweeping chunks of this. I think to get them out of the way. Too, I'm not going to be too precious about all these stars I dotted in. Mostly these big planets. And I can always dot more stars in if I need to with um, my these like Sakura Jelly Roll pens. Jelly Roll. And then... Uh, Got this jumbo correction pen. Woo! Uh, pressed pen held pressed jumbo correction pen. I should uh, focus. Focus. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I gotta. I, I'll just paint over all this stuff. I tend to work harder, not smarter. 
So it's a bad habit in, in every aspect of my life. I work harder, not smarter. It's like I know what the smart, quick way to do things is. I tend not to do that. Ah, jeepers. I just stuck my hand in the wet ink. That's how I swear when I'm on camera. Golly gee! I stuck my hand in ink again. That tears it. Man, I'm already going through all my ink. I have to pour more. That doesn't happen too often. I almost stuck my brush in my tea. By the way, look. It's my Ink the Book Show mug. Um, you can get an Ink the Book Show mug over at what is it? My T public, which I usually put in the description. My my link tree has a link to my T public store. Pour more ink. Um. Except on Twitch, I do it. I usually put in the link at the end of the show. That. Uh, I think it doesn't let me beforehand. My mom sent me a poem earlier today, too. Maybe I'll read that one in a minute. Yeah, my mom just has a bunch of her paintings around her house. They're oh, they're... Some of them are like super de duper good. Super de duper good. I was raised on Barney. Um, yeah, but then like she's got a bunch that are just piled up in a corner <laughs> in a room. She's got like a room that's just filled with paintings just sitting there in stacks. Also, all my parents' walls in, in their house have all these, like, faux-finished textures and designs and things all over their house. That she, there was a while where she was like, my dad's a house painter, and my mom would help him 
do like cool faux finishing stuff that she would figure out how to do um, at people's houses. But she would always practice in her own house. And so there's like all these like weird textures and things like all over their house. So every every other room has some kind of like weird designy stuff on the walls. La -de -de. I just ran away from home. Now I'm going to Disneyland. I just robbed a grocery store. I'm going to Disneyland. I just saw a good man die. I'm going to Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland. Song by a band called Dada. There used to be commercials on TV where um, it was like, You just won the spelling bee. What are you going to do next? And she, they'd be like, I'm going to Disneyland. You just won the Special Olympics. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland. So there's this song that this band called Dada did where <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I just got kicked out of school. Now I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> I just tossed a fifth of gin. I'm going to Disneyland. I just flipped off President George. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> Only it's spelled uh, D-I-Z-K-N-E-E -E land or something like that. But the, the band is called Dada. And the album is called Puzzle. If I recall, it's a pretty good album. It's one my dad used to listen to when I was a kid. Okay, let's tighten this up. I just got ink on my hand. Now I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> One of my examples was you just won the Special Olympics. I don't know how Olympics work at all. So maybe I, I, it just sounds funny to say somebody won the Olympics because I don't think there's a clear cut winner of the Olympics, right? This is a bunch of different events.
So if I try and do a stream tomorrow, it would have to be in the evening. But what would I do? Um, I guess I could do a sketchbook drawing. So I would, if I can help it, I would like to get back to doing close to daily streams. Um, I just think... Like, if, if, if I can't do, like, a regular time for a stream, a regular day or a, a regular time for a stream, the next best thing I could do is try to stream every day, which is why I was doing it so regularly before. Also, I wanted to document every page being inked. But, um, yeah, I don't like being, like, I want to, I want to, I want a more consistent show going on than every once in a while. So, that means I need to get back into this room and be doing more art in this room, I think. I just realized uh, this morning, one of my first thoughts upon waking up this morning was uh, my roommate's getting married in three months. That's so soon. My roommate has been my best friend for since about... 2004, maybe 2003, so it might be 20 years, it's at least getting close to 20 years, um, I, oh. for, uh, the 10 year anniversary of us being friends. Uh, I threw a roast for him. And I got all my friends, him. We even built a podium. My buddy Ben, who is um, my friend who's in the video game class that asked if I had a character he could make a video game level on. That's the reason I made a bonehead for that um, that friend's project. I made a bonehead on the spot and then showed him all my drawings and 
He's like, yeah, let's do it. So somewhere there's a real crude video game level of animations I made that he, like, made playable. Uh, but uh, he, he, he built a podium that I designed, I think. It's it's since been hacked to pieces, but uh, we built a podium and we did a roast for my, my friend for 10 years of being friends. So maybe we should do something for 20 years. That's my buddy Tyler. He's getting married in June. Oof. I don't like, uh, it looks like that bow's in on the other side. Might have to clean that up with a white pen. Maybe. Shot my gun into the night. I'm going to Disneyland. Come on, I'm going to Disneyland. Oh, crumbs, do I got to do some kind of speech or something for his wedding? What do I say? Uh, I'll just, I'll just do my material from the roast. <laughs> Ten years ago. His beard smells like his armpits. Or whatever it is.
May he die like he lived, drenched in sweat. No, I don't know. That'd be appropriate for a wedding, right? St. Patty's Day's coming up. My mom, being from Ireland, she always likes to throw a St. Patrick's Day party. She thought for a minute she wasn't going to throw it this year. But she is. That should be fun. That should be fun. What else? What on earth else is there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and bully one of my brothers to come in here. Let's see. Someone. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not even going to read out loud what I'm, what I'm texting because it's going to be dark. <laughs> Copy the link. Uh, also, I'm going to add a smiley face to what I'm saying because of how dark it is. <laughs> um, there we go. That'll guilt him. <laughs> I messed up. Uh, let's see if it works, though. You know? La -da -dee. Here, in the meantime, I'll read that other poem that my mom sent me. Let's see if I can find it. Um, where are we at? <laughs> uh, here we are. So it's, um, it says touch and go. As I read about death, a dish fell. Then a clap of thunder. Is this hell? As I thought about life, I hear raindrops. Is this heaven when life stops? 
like the loud plane lost in the cloudy sky. I can't go on, but I must try. The cooing dove away is flown. He mourns no more. He's no longer alone. Now the sun shines. It's a new day. It's time to grow. It's time to stay. The uncertainty of life, laying in bed, reading about life and death. I hear all the sounds above. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like, I feel it is life talking. As I read, I heard a dish fall in the kitchen sink and immediately one clap of thunder and then no more. As I read on, I could hear the soft raindrops touching whatever they fell on. I kept reading as I listened to a roaring plane fly through the clouds. It was surely touch and go there in a turbulent sky. The male dove is called morning dove because of, I don't know if she's explained this to me or if this is part of the poem. I'm going to stop reading that one. I read it earlier and it all read like a poem, but I don't, I feel like she might be explaining the poem to me. I'm not sure. I'm not giving it my f full attention right now, so. That could be it, too. But it, like, in the text, it, like, has, like, a form. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden it's, like, a paragraph after a minute. Hey, look at this. My, my, my dad doesn't want want me to end it all no i don't hi how you doing oh okay doing good you look you look like you're about to um i don't know ask me to join join forces with you or something <laughs> the dark side <laughs> uh telling you that uh, you think you're the fairest of them all, but really Snow White is still alive in the woods. <laughs> hey, jeez. Hey, jeez. So what's up? You got other people on, too? No, just you. Oh. Uh, I don't he, want you to No, but... Oh, thank goodness. Bless you, sir. Did you see Katrina sent you a text, too? No, she was talking to Mom, I think. Oh, was she? About the pump. Yeah. Damn. I know. You've been it's on for an hour already? Uh, yeah, almost. What? What is this one? Is that the Cosmos? Oh, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell right now, because... I'm painting stars. And also, you know, this ink. I, this is where I prefer the, the Hobby Lobby brand ink because it goes on thicker. It's a little uh, opaque, uh, the name brand. Watered down black. Yeah. Yeah, we get but, that um, sometimes too. I, I like to get the stock. Because it, it, you know, it's going to cover. Yeah. Wait, what yeah. do you mean? What, the stock? If you buy a stock black, yeah. it's going to be much darker than anything they mix up for you. Because they're mixing it in what, the, the stock. Bag. It's something that they have. It came from the, from the factory already shot black. So it's a more, mm. it's a more solid coat, you know. It's like the okay. same thing. the The stuff that you're buying at Hobby Lobby is like a stock black, and the other stuff that you're getting is mixed, so it's not as it's not as uh, solid. Okay. 
So you're like, you're better off buying the stock black. That's a, that's like, you like the one from Hobby Lobby. You're better off getting that one yeah. because you know that's going to cover. See, one thing I liked about this once I bought it though, it's easier on the brush. Because it's watered like down. Like when I go to yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, you know, it's got its good and its bad to it, I guess. So it, look at this. See, it's all like patchy. Yeah. Which will be, I mean, I think it'll, it should be fine when I scan it in and, you know, threshold it so it's all white work. I think it, it should come out the way I want it. There's a, is, uh, that, is, that, is that acrylic paint? It's India ink. It's ink. It's what? What is it? Ink. Uh, so is that an oil base? Super black India ink. No. It, uh, waterproof, free flowing, non clogging, fast drying, carbon black pigment, no dyes, no peanut oil, contains sh shellac, optimal light fastness. Oh, so you'd have uh, to put a thinner in it to get it like a drop of thinner in there and then yeah. stir it up. Or they have this stuff called um, Penetrol. Pen Penetrol. We put that in oil. That'll paint. work with ink, you think? I don't know. But, it, I mean, you've got shellac in it. Okay. That stuff stinks, right? Not really. No? Yeah, not really at all. I would look it up. And if it was a if it was a water base, I would suggest that you just get this stuff called Floetrol. And you just put a minute little bit in there. And it's not going to affect the color, but it'll help it spread better. So if you get this stuff from Hobby Lobby, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's probably that. That's probably got shellac in it too. Um, you might want to look and see what you can do to not thin it, but get it to flow better. Yeah. Like Penetrol in oil paint is good. Because it doesn't do anything to the character of the paint. It doesn't like compromise its integrity. It just makes it easier to spread. Yeah. What's the other one you were saying? Floetrol is for like a uh, water based paints. It's the same thing as Penetrol. Penetrol is for oil, Floetrol is uh, additive for. Uh, latex paint. You just put in very little bit and stir it up, and it just makes it flow easier. Yeah, I'm not like I'm not sure if I would necessarily use that for this, but I'll bet you there's got to be there's something. There's got to be something that I'm, does. Ink, this. Yeah, I I I, I'll, I'm, I promise there's something like that for ink. Yeah, like some slight wrist aimed just something to get it to flow for... easier so it's so that the paint yeah there, it's not dragging yeah because when i started when i started the book i um i was using the hobby lobby brand at first and then once that once that uh bottle ran out I got this big old bottle of the the name brand, and that that's kind of how I know the difference between them because I was using them both on the same thing. Um, yeah, the other one goes on blacker, but it was like a little harder on my wrist, which I I didn't realize it was harder on my wrist until I started using this. Same with same with uh, this brush. Like when I started using this brush, as, um, as opposed to the Hobby Lobby brand brushes, that was immediately like way easier on my wrist. What the 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 brush that is not Hobby Lobby? Yeah. So th 
I'd recommend spending the twenty four dollars or whatever it is on these brushes. Yeah. Rather than the, the you know, seven dollars for like seven brushes or whatever, you know, I was getting from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Well, sometimes it, the quality quality costs you money. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that if you looked into it and you found something that you could not not thin the mm -hmm. ink, just but get it to flow yeah. better, they've got to have something. I would go back to using the the blacker ink. How do you do? Right. Yeah. And something that makes it flow easier. And I mean. It's amazing because you can buy like a bottle of the, the Floetrol and the Penetrol and you put like a capful and a uh, half a gallon of paint and mm -hmm. you stir it up and it just yeah. like night and day difference putting it on. It doesn't drag. It flows very easily. So I, I imagine they mm -hmm. have to have something for it because I mean ink is just a different form of paint, I think, right? Yeah, pretty much, I think. Yeah, that's, I would think so. I, I'm pretty sure I've heard of artists using something for that kind of stuff. I just yeah. haven't so far. Yeah, it, it's just a little bit, and you stir it up, and then you use it, and it's good. It, it Because you, you, it keeps the the paint. It doesn't affect the color that, well, I'm, I keep saying paint. In your case, it's going to be ink. But I, it, it doesn't... In, it doesn't do anything to the integrity. It just makes it easier for you to work with it. Right. So what are you doing? It like a, you got to go over everything twice with that. No, I mean, it'll be fine. Um, I'm pretty sure like w when I scan it and I bring it into Photoshop, there's this told option where like if there's a bunch of gray in the pay in the scan, if I once I hit threshold and kind of adjust it, everything goes to white or black, and there's no gray. And so like, for the most part, everything should go the direction I need it to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it'll kind of like look more like a perfect, uh, I don't know, Xerox or whatever. It'll, so it'll, in effect, it'll blacken it up more for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything will be solid black or solid white. And sometimes, you know, something can go the wrong way where it'll be like, like if, if it's too light a gray here or something, like that might show through as like parts of it might. But I, I don't I haven't had that problem so far with any of my scans. But if I do, I, I could always tinker around in Photoshop and paint the stuff that needs to be black. So you have you been at that page for the entire hour? Yeah. I was showing up some little painting I did uh, for something else like just like little background stuff that I'm doing just like weird little sketchy splotchy paintings I don't know. some of them have like pencil mark in it I don't know I was just doing a bunch of those today for uh what are you doing them on? What's that? What are you doing them on? Oh, they're like, I, um, they're like uh, heavy duty note cards, three by five note cards. So they, are they they bending on you? What's that? Are they're they bending, bending, but <laughs> are they bending on me? Yeah, they they bend a little bit, but not not like a regular note card would with the watercolor, and they're a they're a lot more resilient to the water than uh, than a regular note card would be. They're for like they're for art, 
like uh i got them off amazon i forget exactly what they're called but if you look up like heavy duty or like watercolor note cards or something they're there So how much more are you going to do on this page? Uh, I just got to like tighten up all the junk in between the stars and then probably dot in a bunch of other stars with this thing. I was saying I have a tendency to draw out all my stars to kind of like figure out how I want them arranged a little too meticulously. like by, like, by And then I ink it and when I should, for the most part, be just just painting over the whole thing and dotting everything in after the fact. I tend to, I was saying I tend to work harder, not smarter. <laughs> double, double work, Joe. That's me and everything, man. That's what Al calls Joe. Oh, double work, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but that was his response all the time. What was it? Dude, did, did you have a dump button? I said a bad word. Oh, okay. Sorry, it slipped. <laughs> no. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. I don't know what what's going on with you. Uh, nothing. Working, trying to get by. Just like everybody else. Tara's got her new job. And she already Oh yeah, what's she doing? Working at a dog a job cow. Like a, a border. So Tara's the youngest of seven. I'm the oldest of seven. She just got a new job. What is she doing? Dog grooming, right? Not grooming. She's like, there's a bunch of yappy dogs, you know. They have one room that's got the big dogs, and one room's got the little dogs. And he has one one person that works with her was telling her that they got bit in the face by a one of the big dogs one time when they right. first started working there. Yeah, she already sounds like she's not into it oh really <laughs> yeah she was happy to take the job and now that she's there she's she came home and the guy says didn't you Just tell time. me that uh, he goes was it you that told me that you would work full-time now and then after august you would go part-time and she she actually had said that but then she said no, I said I would be part time. <laughs> oh, she, she totally took it back. But you know, she needed she needed a job to get her through the summer. And I told her just try to sack away as much money as you can so that when you start school in August you can still make your car payments and stuff because that was one of the things she was worried about. Mm -hmm. as well, save up as much as you can and that you get through that time. Otherwise, she's going to end up having to work with me or, you know. Some other schmuck. No, I'm just kidding. Well, um, she's still watching the little girl. But she can only watch her for like three hours, so the lady may end up in a half and to get somebody else or something. And she doesn't; she likes the little girl, so she doesn't mind doing that. But then uh, she watches uh, one of the neighbors down the street dogs, and mm -hmm. yeah, she just. She does little things to make money. And it kind of adds up. But she wanted something a little more solid. And now she's got it. And and that's so sure she's happy that she got it. She's not as pumped as she was before. 
Mm. But that's Tara with work. Dang. That's that's also Mikey with work. Doesn't matter how much he makes or anything. It's just he he just doesn't like the job. He's and it it's it's funny to see him like that because he does a good job. He just hates mm -hmm. every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, I used to watch him like bang his head on the wall and lose his temper. Remember that one house that you were working at? And he yeah. started like throwing the ladder across the room, and it's like the floors were just done at the guy's house. I'm like, no. Yeah. 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 Dude, he gets so, so dark spirited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when something isn't going to work. One day he was like, that was a mortifying like, thing. Right? One day he told me, he's like, I really messed up my hand bad. And I go, <laughs> what happened? And he goes, I was at work. And he, you know how I am at work. <laughs> it's like, so you almost broke your hand. I go, what'd you hit? And he goes, <laughs> he, he hit, hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like you, you gotta be kinder to yourself. I tell him, try not to get so worked up. Of course, I was getting worked up last week too, so I shouldn't talk. Yeah, I was I was good at not getting worked up at work for a long time, and I feel like I'm creeping back into that. Same kind of thing. No, nowhere near like Mikey does. But no, nobody I does. Get, I get when I get bent out of shape. I'm. I do a lot of s smashing pens <laughs> across the room when I'm alone. <laughs> if something's not going my way and I'm getting like, I don't know. We have like an infinite supply of pens that I end up throwing at walls and stuff. When I'm behind closed doors. Yeah, well. I. He was just talking about how 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 he did really well this year and everything was pretty cool. And then yeah, I talked I just, to him the next day and he's like, this job blows. I hate it. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. You were just talking about how good it was. Well, I, he goes, I like everything except the actual work. And it's <laughs> mostly, I think that's not even true. He, I don't think he minds that. It's it's driving it's all things... over the place. Mm -hmm. So there's always, I, I, I just told him, you know, there's always going to be something with you. Like, I think part of his thing is, like, he likes, like, getting off on time and going home and like when, when that stuff, and that's kind of like my thing too. It's like, if stuff isn't going, you know, like all of a sudden, like, I'm not going to go home on time today. D dang it. Like that, you know, that's when I start getting PO'd too. I have, I um, have like, I, um, I have ideas about, how I'm going to go in and do a job and how it's got to get done by a certain time. And I have it figured out in my head. And when people like continually get in my way and shoot down my goal. Plan. Like, yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah, that, yeah I get very frustrated. Yeah. No, nothing frustrates me. Like my day job, nothing at all. And it's no, usually that exact same thing. Uh, like um, a common problem. <laughs> it's just like when when it's like I I have to put off my idea of what I need to do over and over and over and over throughout the day. It's like it really starts getting to me. Yeah. Well. My, mine's more like a weekly thing, and it's a, usually an outside source that I can't control. And I still yeah. try to control it to get it back to where I'm track, and it just doesn't 
work that way. You're frozen. Oh, there you go. I am. Oh, maybe maybe I was just. Uh. Hey. What? Cover for me a minute, will you? What do you mean? Here, I'm gonna make. You've got you've got the stage, <laughs> Lord uh, Mike. Um, Lord. Lord Farquaad. I don't know. Sing a, sing a song or tell us how to do a trick. Um, maybe do a magic trick or something. I got to run to the bathroom. Well, today we're working on uh, one of the pages for the Ink the Book show, and it's one of the pages of Bonehead in Space. And uh, we're coloring the, the darkness between the stars with a black paint, which we discussed earlier, was a paint that, or an ink that is more opaque than the one that he prefers, but the one that he prefers, uh, the, the ink drags and it's harder for him to move it around. So he buys the other name brand ink and that, that flows better, but it doesn't cover as well. So I spoke to him about possibly finding something to thin it out without messing with the integrity of the color, but also allowing him to flow freely with his brush over it so that he's able to do a better job of just covering the, the darkness. I mean, if you saw the page that he's working on, it's mostly black and it's kind of a, a labor of love for him to fill everything in. So I'm just trying to give him some ideas to make it easier. Hopefully he finds out something that worked better for him. So. I shouldn't have put the camera bad. on you the whole time. That was, that wasn't nice. What? I should have left the art up. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have done the uh, camera okay. just on I you. A, I did a narrative, so if anyone came in, they they knew exactly what we'd talked about. Uh oh. What is going on? Anyway, you can watch oh, it later if you okay. want and see what I said. It'll be a mystery to all. Because no one tuned in to me. <laughs> I'm going to get going in a minute. Do I just check it in with you? Are you almost done for tonight? Almost ish. This isn't even going to be in the book, the book book. This is like, I don't think, anyway. This is going to be in the. I'm going to try and put together a black and white issue of the first 24 pages. And I, I, I think I need an inside front and back cover. So I'm, um, that's what, that that's is. what this is for. Yeah. Yeah, the patience of a saint. I don't think I can do it. Um, the patience of a saint and the heart of a scoundrel. The patience of a no. saint, the heart of a dog. You're like a Saint Bernard. They're pretty faithful. So that's a good thing. And the talons of an eagle. Huh? <laughs> the tail of a peacock. <laughs> and retractable claws and a prehensile tail. 
Isn't that in uh, Calvin and Hobbes comic? I think so. Um, oh, hey, you know what comes out? Um, I think on my birthday or the day before my birthday. What? Uh, Bill Watterson is, he, he, he's got a new project coming out with some other guy. And it's like some weird art collaboration. It's a story about like, I forget, like something medieval, I think. Nothing to do with Calvin and Hobbes. Let me see. No. Let me Is see. Tyler comic? sent it to me a while back. Is it a comic? I think it's a comic. I think so. It's called... It's some kind of returning to comics for a fable for grown-ups. I don't remember what it's called. I'm not on the internet right now, so I'm avoiding the internet for the moment. Other than streaming. Um, um, it, that's your, uh, your lunch but it is, w whatever it is, it's available on Amazon right now, but it comes out October 10th, I think, the day before my birthday. So will, will it be film or will it be written? No, it's a it's a comic. Thing. It's some kind of fantasy thing, I think. It's a fable. It said for grown-ups, and it's some kind of. The cover looks weird, and I think the art is a collaboration between him and some other guy. Oh, cool. So I've got that to look forward to. I, I, I was hoping you'd said he was going to do like a cartoon yeah. series of Calvin and Hobbes. Because that's what I'd really like yeah, to see. He won't do that. I don't know how they would voice that, that either. That would be cool. Charlie like Day and John Lewis. No. Through. <laughs> John like Lewis. What's that? Like, uh, what you say, uh, live action Futurama that fell through. Was that Isn't a thing? That supposed to happen? Uh, not that I am aware of, or maybe it's something I forgot about, but I don't, not that I you, know. I believe, showed it to me. I think there was an AI thing. That uh, Tyler showed me. I think it was AI, though. Did I show you that? Uh, oh, yeah, I think I did show you that, but I, think I didn't know what it was. But I think it was an AI-generated thing. I don't know. It looked like a sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow, time flies when you're having fun. I've been on for a half an hour already. Yeah, you have. I even got to host the show for one minute and 13 seconds. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> so. But I must depart. Hey, that reminded me. Oh, okay. What? Well, nothing. Nothing. Say what you were saying before I go. No. <laughs> um, um, let's see. I don't know. I got nothing. Got any uh, parting words? For uh, St. Patrick's Day Spot dinner is there? getting closer. Hmm? The St. Patrick's Day dinner is getting closer. Oh, that's true. And I'm supposed to go out with my ma tomorrow night and then have her come over to our house on Friday night. Uh, so I'll see if okay. either of those things happen. 
Not bloody likely. No, I'm just kidding. Um, St. Patrick's Day party is usually fun. Yeah. Is there going to be karaoke, do you think? I suggested it. So usually if I if it's up to, I think, Kaylee and uh, Liam are the ones that get that together pretty much. Ooh. Kaylee, especially. Got any uh, uh, tracks you're looking forward to singing, if you do, since apparently uh, you suggested it already? We have, we have like, new songs that we've been working on. They're not new. They are to us. But I could do... Your, your band. Yeah, and that... Yeah. What's your band called? Crooked Hooks. Yeah. And I, I am... I'm going to see if I can book a couple of gigs out in uh, Maple Park or Sycamore. Ooh la la. So I found three bars out that I way think. that uh, this other guy, he's a painter that goes into the store. He's in a band. And I went to see him with Tara. Uh, one afternoon, they're playing outside over by the the river in South Elgin. They built built a band shell where the police mm -hmm. station used to be. Well, the firehouse used to be there. The police station is still there, but the firehouse used to be there, and now they moved it. And they built a band shell over behind where it was. And they made Wheaties. Wheaties moved down the street, so they just like. Leveled is it all still a little area. tiny? Huh? Is it still that? Is it still a little bitsy tiny shack? That little restaurant, Wheaties. That shack was leveled. It's gone. Dang, that was kind of cool. Yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool too. But they uh, moved down the street farther north, like closer to our house. On, on uh, 31. They stayed on 31, but they're across the street on the other side. That's actually a pretty nice place. It looks good. It's modern looking. and They got big screen TVs where they have sporting events and stuff on during the day. and It's, it's just better. Okay. It just looks better. And still the same food, same guy cooking. That guy that's been there for over 20 years is still there. I think I've only been in there once, maybe twice. The old really? one, I guess. Yeah. Ever? What, you didn't go there much? No, I went there once with Ben because he lived right by there, I think. And then I went there once with Tyler, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're pretty decent. They're decent people, too. The old yeah. Greeks. <laughs> Are they? I think. I, yeah, they come across like that to me. Yeah, they're Greek. I think you're right. Yeah. They have another one, too, but I don't know where it is. I think in, in Bartlett, maybe? Or St. Charles? It's, like, not far away, but... I've never seen the other one, you know. I just, I just know one exists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's my parting shot. <laughs> that and uh, Mikey got right. it down last night, and they took all the they they all came over to the house. Oh, yeah. And uh, I have oh, a cool. suitcase to Carson. Did they go to Disneyland or Disney World? Yeah. No, they the went plan? to a different part of Florida. I think they went to... I thought there was a whole Naples. reason they were going to Florida. No. That's it, what they were Mikey's, talking about a couple of Mikey's months. making a lot more money. He's just not making enough money to go to Disney World. I mean, that's <laughs> that's, that's executive money. They were talking about Disney Disney World uh, a few months ago, so I thought uh, that's why they were going to. 
they may have to, like uh, priced it out and maybe what did what did jim gaffigan say about disneyland he said it's like it's yeah. like going to the dmv but spending a lot more money <laughs> <laughs> hey there i am oh look at that you're not a disembodied head after all i'm a disembodied vibe That's really All right, Liam just got home. Maybe he'll come on and talk oh, with you. Yeah, yeah. Tell him to get on here. All right. He said, "If you want to talk to him, you can come and talk to him like a man." Ditto. Well, I a little girl. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think he's nice. Uh -huh. He's not going to go on tonight. What a coward. A huge coward. Quivering. Quivering. Did you see my name? Oh, I can hear... Start. I can hear his knees shaking from here. Hmm? Yeah. Orville Wright? Yeah. Are you the one that landed that bird upside down in the field or whatever? Damn near killed myself. <laughs> I, der I derailed a train in Ohio. Not the one with the toxic that chemicals. The, the new one. Did you hear that? Another, oh, another, another one? Derailed. Yeah. Somebody's it's doing like it. an epidemic. I know. No, I think somebody's doing uh, it. No toxic chemicals this time, though. So there's a break. That'd be weird if uh, three separate. Tra I don't know. I haven't been on the internet in ten days, so I don't know the gist of everything. Well, this is on the news where I saw it, so. You can watch that. Oh, I don't game. watch. I can. I don't. just draw though <laughs> instead. <laughs> You're better off. Stay as in the dark as the black paint, the black ink that you use. <laughs> That's yeah. my parting comment. I'm gonna go. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. I'll closure. talk to you later. Okie dokie. Thanks for coming in. No problem. I'll talk to you. I'll be back another time. Soon. Adieu. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Love you. What a nerd. I love my dad. That's baby stuff. Sissy stuff. So that was Papa. Papa Okana. Oh, I'm excited. My uh, my brother's back from Florida with his family. That means my my nephew and my two nieces are back from Florida. Those are cool people. Oh, I can't wait till the next time I see them and they go. Did you bring me something? I'll be like, you're the one who just got back from vacation. Did you bring me something? They like to ask me if I brought them something. Every time they see me. Okay. I guess I'm done with this. Let me let me dot some more stars and I do feel cripes. Gotta clean up the tip of this thing. There we go.
Oof, this is, that one was kind of crummy. Here, let me try doing some with the the uh, Sakura Jelly Roll. It's using the Presto. I just got to go simple. I can't do the the five point stars too well with them, as well as I'd like. But I can go back and ink around that if I I need to. I still have to color my comic today. Um, page 19 I have to color tonight. I also want to work on coloring another project. What time is it? It's almost 9 o'clock, so I gotta, I gotta move. Yeah. Let me Like I say, text is going to go on this page. I'm not coloring this page. So I don't think it has to be too fancy e pants. I think I'm calling that done. I know that looks like a dung heap, but I swear it'll look better when I have it all scanned in. Hopefully, anyway. So I got to dump this ink back to the bottle and move on to the next thing for me. Um, this is Bean, yet another edition of Ink the Book Show. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna try and come up with stuff to do for, um, uh, that I can do in this room. Maybe I'll just do sketchbook drawings. I don't know. But I'd like to get back on track with doing more daily uh, streams. If that means uh, not doing color streams, I think I'm okay with that. Even though I'd rather be... I, I would like to be working on my book in um, on the streams, but maybe I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but we'll see. I'll, maybe I'll do some moons or something. Um, anyway, I, I'll see you for the next stream. Uh, be good to your mother. Be good to your father. Um, check out the links in the description. There's my, um, my T public store where you can get ink the book show thingies. And, uh, you can, uh, check out my social media through there. I'll be posting that link to, to all my stuff uh, in the description momentarily. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I love you.